Welcome back. If you were out at Rock the Riverfront this morning, you may have noticed a vendor's market with a unique twist. Now, kids ages 5 to 17 join the children's entrepreneurship market. Local 3's Riley Nagel got to see the merchandise himself, and he brings us all a look tonight. There are nearly a hundred kids here selling a wide variety of cool products and getting ahead of the curve when it comes to learning what it's like to run a business. Let's go hear from some of these little entrepreneurs. Anything that you can think that a grown up you might find at a grown up, you know, craft fair, these kids are going to have it. Christmas, my aunt got me a hot sauce kit and then I was bored and then these guys came along when I started making hot sauce. Maximus, Judah, Sam and Carter came together to start Scorching Sensations. The four chop their own peppers and blend their own spices to create flavors that famous shows like Hot Ones would even admire. I think it's important because it's teaching kids how they might have to function as when they're adults in, in the real world. If you're a fan of all things hot, I recommend their Mango Blaze bottle. To cleanse my palate, I visited Hunter Holbrook, who's selling cereal necklaces and hand-beaded characters. It's just I'm excited. I, I, I like I finally get to run my own business, and I'm excited to get some money finally. Hunter wants other kids to know how fun it is to run a business, and of course the satisfaction that comes with earning some cash. And speaking of cash, vintage two fifty two hundred fifty dollar bag, vintage. Nico Avila sells collectibles including baseball and Pokemon cards, his highest value cards going for hundreds of dollars. He says he finds the items by going into thrift stores, then using an app on his phone to find their real cost. You could get something for five dollars and you can resell it for a whole lot more. And last but certainly not least of the entrepreneurs, I heard from Lily Parrish who runs Lily Clips. Well, when I was littler, I, would, I had um, not pierced ears, so I went to sell clips, but now I have pierced ears. Lily is very passionate about what she does and sharing it with the community, even letting me try some on. How do I look? <laughs> Fabulous? Right? <laughs> If you care about supporting local businesses, then consider helping these tycoons. You can learn more about the market and these vendors over on our website. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Riley Nagel, Local 3 News. Man, those kids are going to be some amazing CEOs and when they grow up.